Okay, hey guys, my name is Trevor Steele with Backcountry PPG. We're out here at our training field. We just wrapped up uh, right now, actually, our beginner training class. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. Today's video, I wanted to talk to you about cameras. I currently have three of them in my hand, one of them being used to film this video. I wanted to talk about different cameras for filming your paramotor adventures and which one you really want to use from my experience. So let's talk about all the different versions, pros, cons, and which one I would recommend for you. First off, we have the almighty iPhone camera. These are actually fantastic. These are really great for vertical videos. Vertical videos live really well on Instagram. They live really well on Facebook and they live really well on YouTube shorts. Vertical videos, however, do not live well is a YouTube video. If you wanna film a YouTube video, you've gotta film sideways like this. Now, I have seen that the phone camera video works great. However, you can't use the phone camera while you're running to launch. You can't use the phone camera as a selfie cam while you're flying. The phone camera is really limited to the you're standing on the ground filming somebody else, or you're in the air filming somebody else. In those two situations, the phone camera actually works really well. However, I will tell you from my experience, as you upload phone video to YouTube, you tend to lose a lot of the quality. So if you're looking for the highest quality content to film YouTube videos to show to your 12 friends, the iPhone video is not really going to cut it, but it does work well. The thing I do like about this is every single person has a camera. They know how to film it vertical, they know how to film it horizontal, it does the job. For filming your takeoffs, for filming your landings, that does a fantastic job. However, if you're trying to listen to music and film videos with your phone, it doesn't work very well. So I would rank this as a great tool for filming others take off, land, and even fly around, but it's not a great tool for everything else. So now let's move on to the next tool. The next tool is the almighty GoPro right here. I have a GoPro Hero 9. Why do I have a 9 instead of 11 or a 10? Because they're really no different. The GoPros are fantastic and they are awful all at the same time. The GoPro software is a little finicky, it fails, it corrupts, you have to reformat it, sometimes you lose your footage, sometimes it doesn't film, if it gets too cold, it doesn't work. I could go on. I love GoPros. I also really don't love GoPros. Here's the thing that I like about GoPro and here's where GoPros fit really well in this ecosystem of filming paramotors. GoPro's auto stabilization in the camera is actually fantastic. You just point it and it will stabilize the rest. A DSLR camera like the one being used to film this, any shake in your hands and it's noticed. The GoPro, you'll never notice any of the shaking. It will take all of the shaking out in any of the newer model GoPro cameras. The thing I don't love about this GoPro or, or some of the things that I don't love about this GoPro is the editing software on the GoPro app itself. It's not super great, it's not super fluid, doesn't flow super well, but it does it, but not as well as I would like it. Now, some of the other things about the GoPro is it only gets what's pointed at, it's pointed at, right? So if something's happening over here and my GoPro is facing this way, I didn't get the footage. The other thing with the GoPro is if you stick it on your helmet, like most of you are probably going to do, it's only getting to get whatever you're looking at. So if you're looking this way, something happens over here, you're not going to get it. So that's just the life of having a GoPro. The super view and wide view camera angle of the GoPro, which is what most of you are probably gonna use it on, is gonna capture most everything, but it's not gonna get stuff far away. So if your buddy is more than 10, 15 feet away from you, you're really not gonna get it. It's just too far, you're gonna have to zoom in, it's gonna kill its quality. It's, it's a limited tool, but it's a tool. Where the GoPro lives really well is on a helmet. Put it on the helmet, it films everything in front of you. You can add audio, like you see in my YouTube videos, I can talk to the GoPro. There's a bunch of different helmets and a bunch of different ways to do that. If you're looking to film audio uh, to the camera itself while you're flying, the GoPro is currently the only one I know of that can do it. Uh, I just don't love how the footage looks. So even if you're trying to film your buddy and you wanna get that cool cinematic shot of you cruising over the dunes, you gotta not only be five, 10 feet from your buddy, but also it's just not gonna come out with that super picturesque uh, movie-like video that maybe you're looking for. Great tool, does its job. Not perfect, not necessarily my favorite, but it has its place. So now let's move on to my favorite, which is the Insta360 X3. This right here, although a little intimidating because it's a 360 camera, is definitely the best tool for filming paramotor content for the average user. GoPros will get whatever you're looking at, but it will miss everything else. The Insta360 will not miss 
anything unless you happen to be standing in the way. It's a 360 camera, meaning everything in every direction from this camera right here, it's gonna pick up. If I hit record, it's gonna get Mike wrapping up the trailer, it's gonna get Ray holding the camera, it's gonna get me jabber yakking like a maniac, and it's gonna get whatever's happening over there. So, if all you do is start the 360 camera and stick it on its tripod, it's going to get everything. It's gonna get your launch, it's gonna get my landing, it's gonna get my wing over, it's gonna get his face plant, it's gonna get whatever. It gets all of it, which is fantastic. Now, it's intimidating to edit 360 footage, but the 360 footage that software, the 360 editing software that comes with Insta is actually really, really easy to use. The phone is not, e not only easy, but it's intuitive and there's good YouTube videos about it. The, the computer editing is also easy, intuitive, and really not that difficult. So, we have all these different tools. I didn't really talk about DSLR cameras. I figure most of you are probably not gonna film with a big fancy camera. Judson is really the only one putting it on a gimbal and flying around, maybe Ryan Southwell as well. If you're looking to do that, you would want to do what they're doing, but none of you really are. This is gonna be the tool that you really wanna get. This is gonna be the one that's gonna get everything. In my eyes, this is the closest we have as paramotor pilots to a black box, which if you're not familiar with what a black box is, it's what films everything in a general aviation aircraft, right? It gets everything. This gets everything. Put this on your helmet, put this on a selfie stick, hit record, the line twist that you didn't notice, it caught. The collapse that you didn't even see, it caught. The Your buddy hitting the ground over there because he messed up his foot drag, it caught. The blown launch over there, it caught. It got all of it. So no matter what happens, your 360 camera, as long as it's filming, is going to get the shot. Most of us, including myself, are really bad at getting the shot because we're distracted. Unless you are 100% dedicated to filming and you're looking around everywhere, chances are you're still gonna miss the shot. Because if something happens over here and you're looking over here, you missed it. This is the only thing that's gonna get everything. And you want that. You wanna not miss the shot with anything. So my recommendation, selfie cam, just like this. Attach it to your swing arms or even sit on it. The reason I recommend that is because the most fun footage is really going to be you. If you're getting a camera because you think you're gonna become YouTube famous like Tucker or Judson, chances are you're not and you're gonna spend a lot of time editing video and it's gonna be a pain in the butt and your time is worth a lot. That hour you spent editing a video was probably better spent with your wife or your kids. I, I don't know, I'm not one to talk. But filming video with the purpose of making some cool YouTube video in my eyes is not worth the time investment. However, filming videos so that you can watch your videos, so that you can see yourself flying, so that you can critique your technique, so that somebody else can critique your technique like your instructor, that is absolutely worth it. And for that, this gets it. Let's say you stick it out on a 360 camera, you go to a set of wingovers, you take a random collapse, you cut the video, you send it to your instructor, and they're like, oh yes, at this point right here, you can see the lack of outside pressure which led to the collapse, and you should have changed this. Boom. Let's say you go to launch and you totally blow the launch up. Well, if this was filming, it got it. So this is a tool. This is not only a tool for helping improve your skill set as a pilot because it's going to get everything, but it's a tool that gets every shot. So if you do want to post that video on Facebook to show your friends, you got the shot. Whereas the GoPro, you might not have got the shot. And the iPhone, you had to pull out and hit record. This gets everything as long as you're filming. It's a little expensive. I think it's somewhere around 400, 400 to $500 for a camera that's a bit, but it's not terrible. The DSLR camera that you're holding is 3,000, and uh, GoPro is, is an equal $400. For $400, if you're gonna buy a camera, this is probably the best thing that you could get. Put this on a helmet, but do be aware, if you do put it on a helmet, you're gonna snag it on things. Put it on a, on a swing arm, be aware you may still snag it on things. Hang it by something, and then stick it under your leg. All good options. Those are ways to use the 360 camera. What I use for the school while we're filming and, and flying so that we can review video with students later because that's something that I like, I stick it on its tripod in the field, hit record, walk away. I stick it there, I don't worry about it. No matter where the students land, no matter where they launch, we got the shot. I never miss anything with the 360 camera. I'm not paid to say this. I have no incentive to tell you all of this, uh, but I just am a really big fan of this Insta360 because everybody that gets into paramotoring is like, I want a camera so I can start filming all my videos or filming all my flights and show all my friends. I love it, I'm all about it. If you wanna film stuff, please be my guest. But I will tell you, if you get a GoPro, you're probably going to be a little disappointed. They're super limited. 
you're not gonna love it. If you get this Insta360, chances are you're gonna rave home about it, you're gonna tell all your friends about it, because you're gonna get every shot and you're just gonna be so excited. Anyways, guys, that's my word of the, the tip of the day uh, from what I've seen filming videos for paramotoring over the last five, 10 years, and uh, helping lots of other people film their videos. My name is Trevor Steele. If you guys are interested in learning how to fly a paramotor or improving your skills as a pilot, we offer a 10-day beginner training program as well as a four to six-day progression paramotor training program. We'd love to help you out. If you have questions about cameras, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions, and I will see you guys in the next video.